There's a number of ways of implementing process flows in Salesforce, but a powerful method is to use the flow designer, which is accessible through the setup menu. Here, we're going to take a look at a common use case where we might want um, one of our customers through the community to update information like their contact details or to upload a file like a proof of identity or something that you might need for KYC. Um, we've built out the process here in the Flow Designer. If you're not familiar with the Flow Designer, it's definitely worth investigating further as it's a powerful way of implementing business processes in Salesforce. You can do things like look up records with inside in Salesforce, check and make decisions based off those records, and then update or create new records in Salesforce based on decisions that have been made or user input um, that uh, an end user customer in this case has submitted through a series of forms and it's all um, done um, through this visual tool here that allows you to define what information is displayed on screens, what fields are captured and so on. So let's see how this works in practice. I'm going to look up the user record for one of our uh, community users, Lauren Boyle. And the way we're driving the uh, business process here is off this custom object related to the contact record called outreach data. So here, when I create a new one of these custom objects, depending on the type of record I create, it will drive a different process in the community. So here, I'm going to ask for Lauren to update her contact information within the community. Okay, let's see how this will work in practice. I'm going to switch over to the Community Builder. This is how we create our community experiences through a drag and drop builder environment that allows us to customize the look and feel and the functionality of our community. Inside here, I've created an outreach page for our process. I can select the flow component and drag it onto the page here. On the options, I'm going to select the outreach flow that we were working on previously. And I'm going to go ahead and publish this change for my community. Great. Finally, let's see how this works in the actual community. I'm logged in here as Lauren. I'm going to go to that outreach page. And I can see here that it's prompting me to update my information, which I can do here. Okay, I'm just going to update some information. And it's going to tell me that the process has completed. Great. So if I go back to our internal user view and we refresh um, the Lauren page, We can see her information has been updated accordingly. So her title has changed, the contact information has changed here, the address has changed. So very simple process, but illustrates how we use the visual flow to allow Lauren to easily update her information in the community and have that push back into CRM. This time I'm going to do a document request. This is another common scenario that we see. So let's say um, ID card. Okay. Please upload your ID card. So maybe we just need a proof of identification or something like that. Okay. Um, we don't need to um, do anything with the builder or the community here. If Lauren goes to that outreach page, she'll see um, you know, some terms and conditions which were part of the process individual flow for this particular scenario. 
and then when she clicks on next she can upload her um, particular ID card here. And again in this scenario if we go back to the outreach data and look at the related information here we can see the ID card has been attached to the record and we can open it up if we want to here. So there are two simple examples but also quite powerful and they illustrate how the combination of the flow designer and the underlying workflow in the Salesforce platform can drive powerful experiences within your community.